of the Lord. Wish my life stands in the house of Zion to bless him. That's why we're here today, to give you all the glory, all of the praise. It belongs to you and you only. Come on. Let's sing it together, y'all. Come on. Lord, we glorify. And we lift you. Serving you, Lord. That's a privilege. Sound real good in here. And we lift you. Serving you, Lord. It's a privilege. Anybody know it's a privilege? And we lift you. Serving you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm grateful every day you wake me up to give you praise. Hallelujah. Serving you, Lord. Yes. Let me sing it like this, y'all. Listen, listen. From the rising of the sun. That's the word says. Until the sun is long gone. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you're worthy of praise. Yes, you are. I think I'll praise you all my days. Lord, we go. Come on and say it to him. You deserve it. Every moment. 
Because you have victory. You are already here. The McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour brought to you by Black and Positively Golden. I am your host, Lonnie Hunter, here for your virtual experience three weeks in. We are here in Atlanta, but guess what? We did Chicago week one. Crazy. We did Detroit week two. Unbelievable. And now we are here in the ATL. Fort years of bringing you great gospel music and since the bet the pandemic hit we shifted like we should have because you should not lack at all we are kingdom ladies and gentlemen so we are bringing you all the gospel artists with the greatest playlist that you can ever ask for in Atlanta get ready for this we got Byron Cage. Yeah, we got Canton Jones. You not ready? Ja'Kalen Carr is in the house and it does not stop there. Leandria Johnson. Man, I'm telling you, this thing is crazy because Vashawn Mitchell is here as well. Am I finished? No, because we got Bishop William Murphy. You are in the right place at the right time at the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour brought to you by Black and Positively Golden. Let's do it. Adrian Smith, McDonald's owner operator. And on behalf of the National Black McDonald's Owners Association, I'm excited to welcome you to the 14th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. Powered by our Black and Positively Golden movement, uplifting the black community through initiatives that provide opportunities for the next generation of leaders, taking steps today to own tomorrow. Now, let's hear from Atlanta's very own McDonald's black owner operator, Anthony Greenwood Jr. Good evening, Atlanta. I hope you are all safe and well during this time and having a fantastic evening in your home so far. I know this wasn't what we were expecting this year, but we are so grateful that the team was able to put on the first ever virtual Black and Positively Golden Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. My name is Anthony Greenwood Jr. and I am a second generation McDonald's owner operator in Greater Atlanta. I own five restaurants throughout our wonderful city and six more in Miami with my family. On behalf of all McDonald's of Greater Atlanta and the Atlanta Ronald McDonald House Charities, welcome. McDonald's is committed to uplifting communities through education, empowerment, and entrepreneurship. And the Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour is one example of our commitment. Here locally, we are also awarding grants to deserving individuals and organizations that are positively impacting the lives of children in the 33 counties we serve through our Golden Grants program. The last two years, we have awarded a combined $80,000 in grants to 24 organizations, and we are doing it again. Be sure to look out for information about this year's program on goldengrantsatl.com. Additionally, this year marks the five-year anniversary of the Archways to Opportunity Education Program. And so far, McDonald's has given out more than $100 million in tuition assistance and supported more than 55,000 restaurant employees. You are eligible after just 90 days and 15 hours a week. Our restaurant employees can earn a high school diploma and receive $2,500 in upfront college tuition assistance, career advising services, and the opportunity to learn English as a second language. So if you work at McDonald's, ask about Archway's opportunity. And if you're looking for a rewarding job opportunity, come apply with us. We would love to have you. We appreciate your support of your Atlanta McDonald's family over the years, and I cannot stress enough how happy we are that you are here tonight to enjoy what will be an amazing, spirit-filled concert brought to you by McDonald's. Now sit back, 
relax, and enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Since 1974, Ronald McDonald House Charities has helped families save nearly $100 million each year on meals and lodging because we believe that no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. And thanks to your generous support, they don't have to. Atlanta's become, you know, a black mecca. You know, uh, I could, I don't even have enough fingers to name the people who have moved to Atlanta in the last, from Detroit to Atlanta in the last year. It's the bed of civil rights. It's, it's the, the place where all black folk feel like, if I can make it, I can make it in ATL. Uh, it's just that place. And so it's, it just makes sense that so many of us who are uh, career gospel musicians would gravitate towards a city like Atlanta. The impact of gospel music in Atlanta is uh, very strong. I mean, literally every artist, and not just, you know, as we say, quote unquote, celebrity gospel artists, but artists in general who are there and they have so much to offer, I think it's just so beautiful. I mean, the powerhouses that are just walking around from day to day, you know, and, and just to see how their music is really blessing people, I think that that really lets you know of the impact that Atlanta has to offer when it comes to gospel music. I came to Atlanta to go to Morehouse College, so at Morehouse, I sang in the Glee Club. We, we sang all type of spirituals and gospel songs. So that was like my base in Atlanta, uh, along with learning who uh, uh, William Murphy is and Byron Cage, who's a Morehouse man, and uh, uh, the Pace Sisters uh, being raised with, uh, up with that music. Atlanta, that was one of the reasons I wanted to come to Atlanta. Uh, and so to be an Atlanta gospel artist is so ironic that God would put me in that position, man, and I'm so honored. The sound of gospel music in Atlanta is everything. You know, from quartets like Dottie Peoples to groups like the Pay Sisters to amazing choirs with some choir music come out of and then some great solo and praise and worship artists. It's like everything is in the mecca of Atlanta. From all over the world, you know, some people come from different places and move to Atlanta. Because I'm actually born and raised in Chicago, but I moved to Atlanta in 2007 and been there. It's been home ever since. So to see that Thomas Dorsey, one of the greatest, was from Georgia, came to Chicago, it's really great to, to see what he's done. Although he's born in, in Georgia, of course, he did most of his gospel music in Chicago. So, you know, I'd never, 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 never give up the capital of gospel music, but uh, Thomas Dorsey is definitely one of the best, and he started it all for all that we do today. Gospel music as a whole in Atlanta, it's, it's very seasoned. You know, music is all over the place. But in Atlanta, it's it's a different type of culture, you know, because you have different genres of music and gospel being one of them. It's um, very inspirational, you know. It's life, you know. It's it's it's, it's a go-to, you know. And when you think of it, it's it's amazing because it moves minds, it moves emotions. I mean, it was such a full, rich history of, of gospel music. In Atlanta, you had the Pace Sisters. You know, of course, you had Sean Pace. You had the Showers of Blessings Gospel Choir. You had so many wonderful, great artists that were doing phenomenal things. So by the time I got down south, you know, I had to figure out what type of music scene it was, and it was an incredible, and still is, of course, to be reckoned with. Them, them, them country folks can sing down in Atlanta, Georgia. But Sean Mitchell, greatest song ever that everybody sang, nobody greater. Searched all over, couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, still couldn't find nobody. But Sean Mitchell, incredible writer, consistent. But Sean Mitchell, that's my little brother, incredible writer, anointed worship leader, passionate, loves the Lord. That's my lifelong brother, my covenant brother. And uh, I thank God for Rashawn Mitchell's ministry. Man, I've been through too much not to worship. Classic, that's Rashawn Mitchell. Well, if you got joy all over the world, this is a good time to smile because God's still working on your behalf. Yeah. Instead of pain, yeah. there's free. 
freedom though you captured me and i've got joy instead of mourning can we say it right now there's beauty in my brokenness i've got true love Instead of pain. Instead of and there's freedom in you. Freedom, oh, you captured me. And so much joy. I've got joy instead of mourning. Here we go. And you give me joy. Down deep in my soul. Hey. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Ah. Yes, you give me joy. Wait up. Down deep in so my soul. soul. So why? Down deep in my soul. Can we talk to the Lord right now? There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love. I've got true love. Instead of pain. Instead of my God. And there's freedom in you. And so much joy.
couldn't find nobody. I looked high and low, and I still couldn't find nobody. There's nobody greater, nobody greater. There's nobody greater than you. Nobody can heal like you can. Oh, most holy one, you are the way I am. Awesome in all your ways and mighty years, your hand, God. Oh. You are He who carried out redemption's plan. Nobody great, nobody great, nobody, nobody greater than you. Uh, wherever you are in the world, just sing this with me, just me and you, come on. Nobody great, nobody great. Everyone say nobody great. Nobody greater than you. Now can we worship through everything in the world? Tell us no money.
but not defeated. Cast down, not destroyed. And there are times I, I don't understand, <laughs> but I believe it's turning around for me. See, I've had struggles and disappointment, and there are times I. I felt so alone And some of my friends They, they let me down But I still believe Thank you, Father yeah. It's turning around for me Around for me Thank you, God Around for me Around for me Turning around. This is the good news right here. Because I can see the breaking of this. God is He's making the way of changes. If I stand strong, and there's no reason to doubt. I know he is working in And it's turning around. And it won't always be like this. God will perfect that concerning. And say sooner or later, it will turn. God's gonna turn it around for you. It will turn. It will turn in my. 
my favors. I know it will turn. Well, family, as you know, it's not just about the song. When you talk about ministry, you talk about a wide range of giving opportunities of your time, your talent, your resources, and your giving. Yeah, and that's what we want to do, family. We want to offer you an opportunity to be a change agent for some of the families in Atlanta as it relates to what you donate to the Ronald McDonald House Charities because through your donation, they are able to continue the services so that the families, the families can take one thing off the list and keep one thing on the list, which is their sick child. You feel me? This pandemic has wreaked havoc across the country, across the globe, and right here. And I'm telling you right now, we will not be defeated. Home. It's about more than four walls and a roof. It's about comfort, safety, and having peace of mind. That's why we help families who are far from home stay close to their hospitalized child without incurring hotel and food costs because no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Movement is launching a brand new mentorship series, taking today's leaders across several disciplines, including music, that's right, and taking tomorrow's up and coming leaders and just helping them get it done. That's what we do. Now listen, this next artist that's coming to the stage, I wanna take a minute and just let her address you as it relates to how she pushes people to a winning position. Check this out. You know, one thing I understand is as a leader, it is our job to be able to teach the next person so that they can flourish, so that they can blossom in life and who they create, the God has created them to be. And so therefore you're helping them win too. I feel like when you're a leader, you should not be selfish, but you should have in mind, God blessed me to be a blessing to others. And so when I look at even myself and other great artists and other great people out there in ministry, who's helping others, they have mentorship programs and things of that nature, that are really nourishing those so that they can prosper as well. Because we gotta understand that God is constantly raising up people. But us as leaders, we should be in place so that we can help cultivate them and teach them because a lot of them don't have that. But when they can get that, I think it, it can really help them. And again, you have to not be selfish and keep in mind, listen, when they winning, you winning. When you're winning, they winning. Because again, we are all on the winning team. Normally I would do my conference, You Will Win, but of course due to the pandemic I wasn't able to do so, but I still wanted to give content where people are being empowered and they understand who they are and give them principles to win. And within this e-course I talk about definitely faith because you need your faith to be able to operate in any area. Also talking about your mind, your body, your life responds to how your brain works and so therefore whatever you think that's what your life is going to come up to. And so as you begin to think success, as you begin to think I will win, that's what your life is going to follow. Speaking about the marketplace, understanding that the marketplace is in you. The man of God asked a woman, what do you have in your house? So many times we look at others and what they have going on to where we belittle what God has given us. And so therefore you got to understand what you have is enough for you to win. So when it comes to my e-course principles to winning, there is absolutely no age restriction on it. I've been getting so many people from all walks of life, all ages, different parts of the world registered string for it and their testimonies have really been powerful and so I wanted to be able to offer something to everyone, the youth, the middle age, I mean everybody and so I'm just excited to continue to hear their testimonies because I believe that we were destined to win. So many times because we experience certain things we count our season out because of one opposition but God is saying no don't let this stop you there's so much more that I have ahead of you and your season is greater than what you really Realize. So snatch it back and say it's still my winning season. Ja'Kalen Carter, the first thing that hits my mind is next. And then what hits my mind is now. Ja'Kalen Carr, way before her time, 
Oh my God. She knows how to command a room. She'll walk the stage with her petite self, and she's just a giant. She's a giant in the kingdom. Ja'Kayla Carr is like, Shirley Caesar, Twinkie Clark, Karen Clark, Tasha Cobbs, all put in one person, and then she's a preacher too. She's a hybrid, I think, of old school and new school. Uh, how are you this young and this old at the same time? It's, it's what our generation needs. you've been up against but I just believe that we serve a God that can cause you to win even in the midst of it all I want you to take this opportunity to reactivate that champion that's on the inside of you and say it is still my winning season come on just begin to release that in your atmosphere it is still my winning season now we're gonna release this all over the world I don't know what you're in but I came to tell you you're about to win came up against your heart and the enemy came up against your children the enemy came up against your name oh, and the enemy came up against your character and I want you to know you will win you will win up against your health Come. the enemy came up against your finances the enemy came up against your fears oh lord and the enemy came up against your business you will
And I declare that today you're getting back up again. You're getting back up again. I know what the devil said. I know what the government said. I know what people said. But God says not so. God says you will win. God says you will win. God says that you will win. Because that's what I call you. I call you a win. I don't call you broken. I don't call you defeated. But I call you a champion. I tell you to lay hands on yourself and shout, I am a champion. I am a champion. I know you heard it. I know you're torn. I know you're broken. But you've got to win. All of those may be facts. It's facts that the doctor said you would never get well again. It's facts uh, that the government said you won't get what's due to you. Uh, it's facts uh, that your family said you won't ever be restored. Uh, but I came to tell somebody the truth still remains. Uh, that in the name of Jesus, in the name of Why to put a smile on your face and say, Cause it's my winter season. Now somebody give God praise right there where you are. I said, You ought to give God praise right there where you are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't see you physically, but I just know that as you give God praise, that something is happening in the heavenly realm. I said, Something is happening in the heaven. I need you to open up your mouth and give God glory because it's shifting, it's turning in your favor. Somebody open your mouth and shout it. Yeah. Give me the F sharp and church it for me. Listen, I love y'all and I can't leave here without telling you that if you want it, you can have it. I need you to high five yourself three times and say it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. If you're around somebody, high five them if you can. And say it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Here we go. If you want it, you can have it.
say, Gina, Gina, Prince of Peace, you are, you are, have it all carry, I know, who can fix it, anything, whatever, it's too big, big for me, who can fix it, who can handle it, Jesus can handle the weight, Jesus can handle the load, Uncertainty can be overwhelming. That's why Ronald McDonald House Charities envisions a world where all children have access to reliable medical care and support, where families can find hope and courage and stay together. Kent Jones is a trendsetter. You know, he's just been setting trends forever. Kent Jones, the G. <laughs> He's a radical, he's, it's sometimes it's like, what are you about to do? Kent Jones is like the perfect definition of a church thug. Kent and Jones, he, he's an urban legend uh, doing incredible things in hip hop gospel for the young people. His ministry is a right now ministry. It speaks to those who don't fit this current model of what a Christian looks like. Some amazing, I, I, I've never really heard praise and worship hip hop put together that makes people cry. And that's Kent Jones, that's what he does. I'ma stay safe. Yeah. I'ma stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. I'ma stay safe. Uh, even though I'm hot as fine. <laughs> yeah. I'ma stay safe. I'ma stay safe. I'ma stay safe. Even though I'm hot as fine. Yeah. Heads up, huh? Excuse me, mister. Me and my wife was in front of the line, dear sir. I don't think it's right if I allow you to skip me. I just want to keep peace. Get some tickets to this movie. I'm trying to be discreet, sir. It's really not deep, sir. We all going to get a seat, sir. And we all going to eat, sir. So please, when you calm down, want me put your arms down. I don't want to show now, but it's about to go down. It's a nice night, but we just can't act right. Just because I'm Christ-like doesn't mean I'm mice-like. I'm going to be the bigger man and let you bump me. Because it's 80 y'all and y'all probably going to jump me. And have me looking crazy and all in front of my company, man. Yeah, uh, chilling is the right move. Let me think I got a choice to make. Go to jail, go to hell, or stay safe, baby. Put the mess away. Yeah. Ain't gon' start bussin', I'ma stay safe, yeah, hey, ain't gon' start bussin', I'ma stay safe, yeah, and even though I'm high as fine, I'ma love you anyhow, yeah, I'ma stay safe, ain't gon' start cussin', I'ma stay safe, yeah, ain't gon' start bussin', I'ma stay safe, yeah, and even though I'm high as fine, I'm at McDonald's on this one, hey. I ordered a number nine, you gave me a number four You forgot the super size and forgot my apple pie So miss if you be so kind, I am sort of pressed 
ask for time Will you take this number four and switch it with the number nine Go to the back of the line Man, you got me messed up I have an important meeting Why you think I'm dressed up? Pay the shoes and vest up If I go back, I'll be late Man, if you could just give me a refund That would be so great What you about to go and break? Can I get my money first? You ain't gotta get loud And miss, you ain't gotta curse Can I see the manager before they think it did it worse? Oh, you the manager well, I don't want this sad with y'all I don't want the money either I just think I'll walk away Before I stop busting back Say something I don't want to say Gotta stay prayed up Cause people would kiss you She still cusses See you later God bless you ha. G-O-D
I believe that God's about to start passing out miracles. Yes, sir. Like, like, like Oprah did. You get a car. You get a car. Yeah. You get a car. So I believe God's going to be like, you get a miracle. Hey. You get a miracle. So every time we say it, you got to point to somebody. You get a miracle. Huh? And the chorus, I believe that God's about to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles like Oprah. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. Get a miracle. Oprah, you get a miracle. Come on, man. Let's go. Ah. Free life. Free life. Free life. Free life. Free life. Free life. Take your with your building. Yes, sir. Like on My wife's sitting out there somewhere. Hey, baby. Yeah. I got a miracle. Yeah. I got a miracle. I believe that God's about to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles. Like Oprah. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. Oprah. You get a miracle. You get a miracle. I believe that God's about to start passing out miracles. God's about to start passing out miracles. I believe I'm approaching the pinnacle. The devil can't step in digital. Bless it from the spirit to the physical. Anybody need a miracle? Won't let the devil cheat me. I believe that it's near you. You too hot for to beat me. I'm a king like Dale. I release my belief. God will answer my prayers. You don't want no beef. I see them signs and wonders. It's about to blow your mind. But those storm is raising. Look at you, gon' be fine. About to use my voice. Praise about to go up. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Miracle about to show. Charles Dickens wrote the most critical line in all of English literature. It was the best of times and it was the worst of times. I'm believing for the body of Christ, this is getting ready to be 
the best time of your life. Recently, a uh, reporter called me asking, would I make the church available to try the vaccine? I said, in no uncertain terms, would I be able to do it? Black people are disproportionately already being impacted negatively by COVID-19, and I can't offer our community up as guinea pigs. She said, Pastor Brian, but what if it helps usher in the solution? I said, I already know, and I don't have a science background, that it takes a year of testing before it's ready. If it is released prematurely, people will not be made whole. They'll be made sick. And as soon as those words uttered out of my mouth, I thought about how it is I tried to rush God in delivering me from something I didn't want to stay in. Not realizing that God kept me in it for a reason in order for me to be whole. I really thought, just like you did, that with COVID-19, we would have been out by Easter. Thought it would be finished by the 4th of July. By God's name, I thought we'd be finished by Labor Day. But there was something God needed me to see. Is that the process always takes time. And when God is perfecting something, it cannot be rushed. I might as well tell you in a note of transparency, I don't know how to cook. Not anything that you'd want to eat. But I do know the difference between a crock pot and a microwave. A microwave, it is finished faster, but it is not cooked thoroughly. A crock pot, it will sit there all day. But when it's finished, you know it's done. There's some of us who want microwave miracles when we don't know what we need is crock pot redemption. God needs to make sure that everything in you is finished with the process. The old gospel choir in my home church used to sing, I may not be what I should be, but when I come forth, I'm coming out as pure gold. Isn't it amazing that often in church, we shout over the promise, but we only pray over the process. What you're dealing with right now is dealing with a process that is preparing you for the promise. Sun Tzu, who wrote The Art of War some 2,000 years before the Bible was published, here's what Sun Tzu said. He says, in order for you to win your war, you got to confuse the confuser. And that's what you're called to do today, is that even while it is that it's taking longer than you thought, longer than you expected, Make the enemy feel like you are enjoying the ride. I wish I could tell you tonight that it's going to be over tomorrow. It's going to be over at midnight, but I can't. What I can tell you is when it's over, it's going to be finished and God's not through. Hold on to your promise because if you don't have it yet, you're still in the process. God bless you. Every parent dreams of watching their little boy or girl grow up to be healthy and strong, to run far and jump high. But a single diagnosis can change everything. That's why Ronald McDonald House Charities has supported families around the world, providing all the comforts of home for more than 45 years. Yet, because the need is so great, more than 138,000 families are turned away each year, a number that has grown since the COVID-19 pandemic. That's hundreds of thousands of families who won't get the comfort of sleeping just steps away from their child's hospital, or the compassion of caring volunteers and staff, or the peace of mind of staying together during their toughest season of life. But today, you can help. Ronald McDonald House Charities relies on volunteers and donations to keep their mission going. And there's no better time than right now to get involved. Your gift today means one more family will have the stress of their financial burdens erased and one more family will receive the gift of togetherness. So give now, because no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. Leandra Johnson, powerhouse. Leandra can do anything. Leandra's like a vocal machine. She's like singing, she do acrobats, she's singing, she take off her shoes, uh, but she moves people. 
every time she opened her mouth. Whenever you know Leandria is singing, you might as well just go ahead and pull out your cover now because you're going to be laid out. Leandria is going to sing you up under a table. Leandria Johnson! A powerhouse, a knockout gospel singer. When I tell you, she's going to knock you out in the spirit because she's just been given this wonderful, amazing gift. I'm so proud of what God is doing through her. She's an alien. I'm not sure that she's from this planet. She's insane. I don't even think she ever gets hoarse. I don't think I've heard Leandria on a bad day. I know. 
coming to you again I'm coming to you again your daughter and I need you every day every minute every hour every second thank you for being there for me when I didn't even want to be there for myself I love you and I'm here and I worship you I give you praise and this is what I say love deliver me cause all I seem to do Turn me
Well, we are here at the part, ladies and gentlemen, where you can play a major role. It's in giving. Yeah, we have been blessed, family, even in this pandemic, to be a blessing. And what we're asking is that you reach deep and be a blessing to the Ronald McDonald House Charities here in Atlanta to help some of these Atlanta families get through this pandemic situation a little bit better. It allows the Ronald McDonald House Charities to buy locally, to stay local, and make sure that the deliveries and all of that so that the risk factor is lessened for the families, the workers, and all involved. We need your help. Now, in order to give, all you gotta do is right there bottom of the screen, go to the website, follow the prompts, and give, give, give. Love you. Bishop William Murphy, my brother. I love William Murphy. He's another one that can command a room. It's almost like the moment he opens his mouth. From Praise is What I Do, which is recorded by uh, Valley Kingdom here in Chicago, to where he is today, and he's continuing to lift the standard in praise and worship for not only church, but for also male worship leaders around the world. Uh, I'm getting ready to make him my mentor. He is one of the most anointed. Just when he opens up his mouth, and purify my heart, Lord, purify. I'm just like this, boom, forget it, I'm out, I'm out. It's something he does to just, that makes you be like, what? You know, like, what's going on? He's just insane, love his worship. The anointing on his life is incredible, and I'm so godly proud of what God is doing with him. Listen, if COVID-19 has taught us anything, it's taught us that we got to put our trust in the Lord. Help me sing this song. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? I will wait on you. <laughs> Somebody say, I will wait on you. Hey, say, I will trust in you. Yes, I will. You say it. I will trust in you. Here we go. Y'all help me. The Lord is. Shall I feel I wonder who shall I be?
declare, say, I will remain yes. confident in this. I will see the Throw your hands up, say, I will wait on you. <laughs> oh my God, somebody throw your hands up, say, I will wait on you. <laughs> my granddaddy taught me a song to wait, say, I will trust in you. Tracy, you know what I'm talking about. Till I die, I will trust in you. your hands up and declare and I will remain confident in this I will see the goodness of the Lord I need y'all to help me sing it one more time say and I will remain confident in this I will see the goodness of the Lord Somebody open your mouth and give God praise now. Come on, open your mouth and give God praise now. I don't know if you feel this or not. I don't know if you sense this, but things are shifting for you. I don't know if you feel it, but things are changing for you. What you need to understand today is that your praise will shift your season. Somebody throw your hands up and simply put praise is what I do when I want to be close to you. I lift my hands and praise. I figured it out. Praise is who I am. And I will praise you while I can. Somebody help me make that commitment again. I'm, I'm praise is who I am. I, whoo, glory to God. Come on, open your mouth. Your praise will shift it, I promise you. Your praise will shift it out. I need y'all company. Y'all help me, please. Just open your mouth. Let's, let's release worship. Oh, my God. There's so much confusion and, and division in the country. But our praise will shift it. Glory to God. I said your praise will shift it. Praises, y'all got it. Come on, sing it. When I wanna be, here's what we do. I <laughs> Somebody tell the devil I know who I am. Say, praise is who I. It does 
wasn't even <laughs> Tell me why My brain ways <laughs>
I believe there's a shifting. I was reading Psalm 146 this morning, and it talked about God's about to shift your season. Whew, glory to God. Read it when you get time. Say it. As a matter of fact, say it with me. God's about to shift my season. I want you, bear with me for just a second. I want you to do this. This is what's called a prophetic gesture. I, I know it's hard. We, we ain't supposed to touch each other, but do, do me a favor. If you're at home and you're you're worshiping with somebody at home who's Rona free. Go ahead. I, I want you to do me a favor. Just go over and just lean on them real quick. Lean on them. Y'all been in quarantine. Y'all just go go lean on it. Somebody. Y'all can y'all 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 Rona free. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lean on them. Lean on them. Go, come back, Teresa. You're too fast. You lean on them. Watch this. Until they have to support your weight. All you skinny people, be quiet. Sick of y'all. Come on here. I I'm trying to get you to gesture prophetically. Listen to me. I'm on a divine assignment here. God said to tell you what you just did to your neighbor is what he's about to do to your enemy. He's about to make your enemy support your weight. Y'all not trying to have church with me. Y'all not trying to have church with me. Some, somebody say, God's leaning in my... Y'all not saying it strong enough. Say it again. God is leaning in my... <laughs> Throw your hands up. Let me prophesy. This is my seat for grace, for favor. This is my season. What you say? To reap what I have sown. Say it again. Say, this is my season for grace. What else, y'all? For favor. I declare it is my season. My season. To reap what I have sown. I hear some of y'all talking back to me. You say, but Bishop, I made too many mistakes. Well, so did I. Let me testify. I haven't been perfect, but I've sure been faithful. And God's got a purpose, and I know he's able. I've got a seed in the ground that he's blessing. No more stressing. I've got a seed it's in the ground and it's growing. And now I'm knowing this is my seed for grace. Come on, church, say for favor. Yeah, everybody, this is my seed to do what y'all say. To reap what I have Oh, what I saw. Say this is my seed for grace. For favor. favor, I declare it is, it is my season, is my season. say to turn. Me what I have so get your hands up and declare, everything is working together for my good, oh, everything Okay, I'm 
I'm out of time. I gotta go. Listen, I want you to say this. Say favor means the superior one intentionally leans in the direction of the inferior one. Now I want you to prophesy with your body language. Are you ready? You're gonna say it like this. Watch. God is leaning. What you say? In my direction. You gotta lean with it when you say it, mama. Come on, say. God is leaning. Come on, don't be too cool, man of God. Come on. In my direction. I gotta go. Y'all say, this is my seat for grace. Mm. What else? Say, for favor. Hey, this is my seat. To do what y'all say. Somebody said, how do you know that? I'll tell you how I know. I've got a seed in the ground. Somebody remind your father, I've got a seed in the ground. Listen, I just need you the next time you walk into the bank, the next time you walk into the place where they told you no last time, as a matter of fact, the next time you walk into your job, walk in there sideways and just tell the devil God is leaning in my direction. You ain't gonna have no music at your job. Say, God is leaning. You gotta lean with it when you say it though. Come on. In my direction. No, mama, I'm not dancing. I'm prophesying. Come on. God, God is leaning. leaning. Yes, he is. In my direction. In my direction. I gotta go, y'all. One more time. You say, God, God is leaning. Walk back up in your house sideways and in tell the devil. Direction. One more time, I'm out of time for real. Say, God, God is leaning. Yes, he is in my, in my direction. Hands are lifted. This is my seat. What else, y'all? For favor. This is my seat. Come on, you say it. A G, a legend, so much fun. Man, what can I say about Byron Cage? I thank God for his life. Thank God for his ministry. Super energetic, great writer, excellent minister. I will bless the Lord. That's what I think about when I hear Byron Cage. Byron Cage is the prince of praise and worship. He started it all for a lot of us. But I like to say what people don't see is that he's given a lot of people like me and different younger artists and ministers of music a chance and connected us over the years. He don't talk about it a lot, but Byron, we appreciate you and we thank you uh, for giving us that chance. If you know you've got victory, David said, I will bless the Lord, not just sometimes, but all times. Come on, put your hands together.
gonna kill us. We got the greater one. Listen, listen. You still working on the outside. I can't feel him moving on the inside. Come and enter in. Cast your gaze on him. You'll open up when it's pull you out of blast him. But when one steps in, he gives you what you need. Healing, power, and victory. But it's all up to you. Whatever you need him to do, trust him. Believe him. My face says I can. know how you all are able to stand it. <laughs> what another great appearance by everybody who hit the stage. This thing is crazy. Chicago is done. Detroit is done. Now Atlanta's done. Have you figured out what you like best yet? Which one do you like best? You, you know you can tell us, right? All you got to do is go to Instagram and use the hashtag Black and Positively Golden. Hashtag Black and and positively golden. Now, if you want to wait until Dallas is done, you can do that too. Tell us what you feel, baby, because I know you're feeling something. Hashtag black and positively golden. So until we holler at you next week, don't forget, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstance, how hard it seems or how rough it gets, Philippians 4.13 reminds us that we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. I love you with the love of the Lord. It is the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. Go on.